When you go out to eat, you expect the restaurant to be clean and serving safe food, right? But in a special Dirty Dining I-Team investigation, we're uncovering several local restaurants warned by the state to clean up again and again, and they just don't comply. And instead of getting inspected just one to two times per year, as required by law, we found inspectors going back up to 16 times in just 12 months due to repeat violations. Yeah, we hear about it every day. Every day. Every day we can. Wow. This loyal customer named Dan, clearly a big fan of Golden Corral on Ulmerton Road, and didn't seem too worried about the serious issues inside the Largo restaurant this last year, including 185 violations written up in inspections. 16 times inspectors came back due to violations not corrected and food at dangerous temperatures. They've had roaches and rodents as well. Does that concern you? Mm, more protein. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so you really, you're really okay with it? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Despite Dan's lack of concern, inspectors very concerned over the last year. Closing the restaurant with a dead rodent and too many rodent droppings to count under the salad bar and other parts of the buffet. Insects on the buffet food, dead roaches in the kitchen, and blue cheese, ham, shrimp, chicken, beef, and much more, all at temperatures that could make you sick. So what does end. Golden Corral have to say about this? Can you speak with us about the violations? No, ma'am. I can actually leave the building for the police. We can leave, but can you answer some questions outside? I cannot. I'm sorry. Why is that? You've had multiple that. violations. There you go. Thank you. Hundreds in the last year. Thank you. Have a good day. Even as far back as 2015, the state returning 10 times that year with similar repeat violations of rodents, insects, and food temperature issues. So you come back. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Out in Clearwater Beach, the subway on South Gulfview Boulevard had 21 inspections over the last three years due to repeat violations, mainly due to food temperature issues. In June, Subway was forced to throw out over 35 pounds of ham, tuna salad, pepperoni, turkey cheese, and more that were dangerously warm in the cooler. And a few months before that, 113 pounds of food had to be destroyed because of improper temperatures of pepperoni, salami, provolone cheese, turkey and more so we went inside to get some answers the inspectors have had to come back again and again for repeat violations well I'm the new manager I just got here like a couple months ago and I have my my certificate hanging over there manager Ayman Atia claims he didn't know about the warnings and administrative complaints to clean up and didn't know the state suspended subways license shutting them down for two days in September but subways track record has not been good with inspectors returning eight times in 2016 and seven times in 2015 due to violations not being corrected. But Atia feels confident the repeat violations are now a thing of the past. Everything is running cold now, everything is fixed, so thank God. The popular Yummy House China Bistro on East Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa, also a repeat offender, with inspectors going back 24 times in the last three years. And the state documented 200 violations just in 2017, including in October, butter, cream, duck, ribs, pork, and more, all the temperatures that could make you sick, cross-contamination issues, and employees not using soap or hot water to wash their hands. And just a few months before that, inspectors saw roaches, insects on food, and over a dozen repeat violations and warnings on food safety issues not being corrected. But Dan thinks all restaurants have problems like this. Go to any any place, go through the last two years, Google it up and look at all the uh, violations everybody's had. Everybody's going to have violations. Well, Yummy House's owner, John Zhao, sent me a statement which reads in part, we come to work to take care of our customers and it's the American dream that I am expanding, which is the reason for some of the extra inspections. Our customers have always been invited into our kitchen and that will never change. Meantime, the Golden Corral's corporate office, Sunsteak, says, quote, at Golden Corral, we pride ourselves on the high standards we set for operational excellence. Our Olmerton Road location in Largo has not met these standards and we are deeply disappointed by that. They went on to say in part, we have brought on an experienced general manager and other employees well equipped to correct gaps. Meantime, we uncovered a total of 50 more restaurants with repeat violations needing multiple inspections just in the last three years. To see that list and their inspection reports along with full statements from the restaurants on air tonight, just head over to our website, abcactionnews.com dining.